Hey, what's up adventurers? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a vlog style video once again talking about Fenrir and hit some of his habits that he might have for upcoming people that might purchase them. And right off the bat, I'm going to put my disclaimer that I put in every video that I make about Fenrir. And that disclaimer is that he is 38% wolf. Okay, so with that comes a lot of different mannerisms, different way of interacting with other dogs and for a lot of these people that are purchasing Blue Bay Shepherds now, you're not going to find a 38% wolf dog. You're most likely going to purchase one around the 8 to maybe 18 around there. Uh, maybe you could go a little bit higher than that. But as far as I know, the low, higher low end content like Fen are not being, uh, not being sold anymore. So my experience with him is might relate more to owners who have low content wolf dogs. Than with owners who own blue bay shepherds if that makes sense because the i mean the gap between 38 and 8 is huge you're talking about 30 percent difference and when it comes to a way of how a dog acts that is a huge chunk so let's get started with the video right and the video title is are they aggressive are they protective can they protect you if you were in dire need of a dog protecting you and the short answer is no definitely no for my dog right now what's interesting is that on the facebook page i read a post that said that they're teaching their blue bay shepherd how to be a guard dog they're teaching them how to bite how to you know all these handling techniques and i got me thinking like wow you know the breed has come a long way so definitely this video is going to be a little bit more oriented towards the wolf dog in that aspect and i would highly recommend for those of you that are like oh you know what I i'm gonna get a blue bay shepherd and He's already saying that somebody was able to make them a guard dog. Ask around first before because there's different pairings, okay? Not every pairing is the same. There's not a Blue Bay Shepherd, Blue Bay Shepherd, Blue Bay Shepherd. Like, you get me? Like, it's kind of still scattered, okay? So, your pairings might be completely different from that person's pairings. Just like my, my dog's pairings are completely different from a lot of the new ones, right? So, ask that. If you're interested in a certain uh sire and dam go ahead and look at the facebook post for those two specifically and see what the owners are saying are they skittish or are they not skittish in my case fenrir being 38 percent wolf for those of you who have seen wolf dogs who have interacted with wolf dogs who have walked with them who maybe even own one know right off the bat how skittish they are now i'm not saying that they're afraid they're not uh, he's not necessarily a well, for, for me right because some of them are but Fenrir is not afraid of males or females. I walk him very often and we interact very close with other people and some of them will be cutting grass in the park here in the, like you see in the videos where I record that we're running that trail. Well, now that we go in the mornings, it's packed. Now it's packed because of the coronavirus. Everybody's out doing stuff. So there, we run into a lot of different simulations and it's, to me, it's perfect because Fen did have like this tendency to when he didn't know what was happening, he'd kind of get scared. Not aggressive, but scared. He'd be very skittish. And now that we're exposing him more to it because it's out there now and it's in our way, he quickly learned that it was like, whatever, like it's just somebody cutting grass. It's somebody riding a bike. He's not, he used to be really scared of bikes when he was around five months old, six months old. Now, doesn't even care. Bikes, um, skater, uh, you know, the, the electric skaters, the little ones that you don't have to like move your leg. They just kind of go by themselves. The local park workers that drive this huge fat green machine. I don't even know what the hell it does, but it just goes around stuff. It looks like it cuts grass, but it doesn't. Like I, I was like, what is that? And I don't know what it is, Dude, whatever. And now let me give you an example of a, the difference between being scared and being skittish because um, I think, you know, maybe some of you might disagree, but they are connected, but they're not at the same time. Being afraid is if I were to put my chair right here right and i'm sorry i don't have fen here the reason i don't is because the way my room is set up it makes it really difficult for him to be here because he starts walking around and i have like cables dangling because of the lights and he ends up <laughs> he tripped it he he ended up dropping it one time and i was like okay you guys are not gonna be here anymore so anyways the difference between skittish and afraid is that if i were to put this chair like this and I walk out, Fen could sleep and he does. He sleeps right here next to the chair. 
he sleeps behind the chair he sleeps close to the chair he's not afraid of the chair if i were to grab the chair and i were to move it quickly towards him like like uh, kind of like if i'm gonna taunt him right like if the chair is going to chase him he gets skittish he runs away and he kind of comes back and he's like what's going on that's the difference he's not afraid of the chair he's just skittish towards certain movements and it doesn't have to be a particular movement it can be me i can be like messing around with him and i can do the little thing where i kind of stop my feet and run towards him and he's gonna run away and he thinks i mean when it's me he obviously thinks i'm playing but he still does that instinctively he runs away and then he comes back and kind of peeks over like what are you doing and when you combine that skittishness with the noise and maybe even an un like maybe even somebody he doesn't know you know you're combining fear now with skittishness and those are two traits that you kind of don't want in a guard dog so if you're looking for a guard dog i would highly not recommend that you purchase a wolf dog i i wouldn't even like don't even think about and it's kind of like a, a mentality where you don't know right because we have this stigma as people that when we think of a wolf we think this great you know badass dog or wolf and he's just the king of the mountains and the snow and they're powerful and then we have game of thrones over here the winter is coming we have the dire wolves and people are like yo they're fighting night walkers and they're huge and this and this i mean that is very um that's a false idea to have about wolves because they're really not like that now if you go on youtube and you put wolf encounters man or wolf meets man this and this and this stuff where they encounter humans you're gonna see a trend between those videos and the, the trend is that the wolf isn't coming towards the person and he's like hey what's up do you like pet me no he kind of he sees him and then he runs away it's instinctive it's in their instinct to run away from strangers that they don't know luckily uh, i've exposed fen enough to where he doesn't mind the strangers he doesn't care if a dude comes and pets him a girl pets him he's kind of like whatever sometimes if it's a really really tall guy he kind of is just like uh, he kind of doesn't like to he like he who he does this thing and it looks super rude where they like try to pet him and he kind of just like moves like he doesn't run away he kind of just moves his head like if he thinks all that and i explained to them like hey you know he is I, I don't tell people that he's a wolf dog you know they never believe me but i just don't like sharing that information out in the public especially like around here where they can just follow me to where i live and whatnot so i always just tell them he's a husky german shepherd mate so that kind of works in my favor because i was able to help him out through that phase where he was afraid of random strangers and now he's not this is something that i really hope you that I really hope that if you're thinking about buying a, con a low content wolf dog you consider because it's not something that you're going to be able to train out of them it's not it's not it not the skittishness the fear net the fearful them being afraid of of stuff yeah I'm sure with repetition and doing it constantly being able to expose them yeah they won't be afraid of those things but they're going to have that skittish behavior where if it help it where if it happens unexpectedly they're gonna run away one of the symptoms or one of the things that happens when they get really skittish is that they run around and this used to happen a lot with the trash can coming to pick up when i moved into my house because we lived in an apartment before that in the apartment you don't hear the dumpster picking up the thing so here you heard it every uh, every tuesday and friday in my case and it's so close like you hear it echo i don't know why it sounds so loud and he was kind of like freaking out the first time he's kind of like running around and that's what they do now he knows that that noise isn't associated with anything bad inside the house so are they so are wolf dogs good guard dogs no will they defend you in case somebody comes running at you with a knife no are they going to leap into the intrude, home intruders face and bite him no he's gonna run away because he doesn't know who they are they're probably wearing a mask it's gonna freak him out like what the hell is this Oh, and by the way, guys, in the description tab, there is a list of products that I feed my dogs and that I highly recommend to you guys. If you guys are interested in those, go ahead and click the link and read the reviews, 
get some feedback from other people hopefully you guys order them for your dogs and it would really help the channel if you did so our wolf dogs or blue bay shepherds that are higher in wolf content than let's say 20 percent 18 are they good guard dogs no they're not gonna be good good, good guard dogs are they good at looking like guard dogs yeah for sure for sure you know when i walk people move out of my way with fan and i'm like bro dude if you knew not good at defending do you want a dog that barks at people i've heard him bark one time and it was because somebody moved a stroller and it was moving down the like down this thing it was just going with no baby inside look it was just going so if you want a dog that's going to set the alarm off in your house by barking at someone that's not them either and i hope that this kind of clears out i don't i didn't want this video to be very pessimistic or very down i just wanted to be very honest with you guys if you are thinking about purchasing a low content wolf dog from any breeder uh it doesn't have to be a blue shepherd and hopefully this answer some of your questions some of your doubts because when you look at them you think that they would be aggressive and you think that they would act a certain way and in reality they don't so i really hope this video helped you guys out if it did go ahead and pause that like button leave a comment down below subscribe and nothing but peace and love from my pack to yours